This is it. The new greatness from Vokey. SM9s, gotta tell you, doesn't look much different than SM8. One of my old demos here. So actually, well, it's a different grind. Same loft though. So a little different grind, same loft. So we're gonna hit a few SM8s, hit a few SM9s, compare the two. Obviously I'm biased towards the TaylorMade, being a TaylorMade staffer, but still got move Vokey products here in the shop. So let's talk about what the differences are as far as look and feel. On initial assessment, not much different on the look. All right, so the principle behind the SM9 versus SM8, basically the same story. Got movable CG on the back or around the face, close to the face, so that as the loft goes up, the CG goes up, keeping the ball flight down, vice versa. As you get less loft, moving the CG lower to help increase flight to optimize those flight designs. Nothing new from SM8 to SM9 in that world. They're saying more, better. I don't know, I'm Mississippi State guy. We say more gooder. Looking at it from the top side, very similar shapes. Not much difference happening down there with the way the swoop on the toe, front leading edge, all that stuff looks very similar. Now they were talking online about how there's a different milling between the grooves. The SM8 has that as well. So you got the main groove lines and then you have the small milling in between the groove lines. And it looks like there's about like four or five more like mini grooves, if you will to help increase spin rate. Right now, not seeing a whole lot of difference in the tech other than just calling it the next year's generation. So let's hit a few 60 yarders with the SM9, see what kind of numbers we get spit back at us for spin rates. And then we'll hit some uh, of the SM8 and see what we get there as well. So when trying wedges, something to consider, don't worry about the full swing spins and distances. Not to say it's not important, Worry more about those mid-range wedge shots and short wedge shots. That's where you're going to really see distance and spin rates play a huge factor in your ability to stop the ball. So we're hitting a 75 yard shot to work on, see how much spin I can put on it and hoping for at least a thousand RPMs for the distance shot I'm hitting. So I'm looking for numbers around 8,000 RPMs for the 75 yard shot. Hopefully we get some of those. See what the SM9 can do. Okay, so SM9, we're gonna run it on the DC3, get some data see what the spin rates are looking like with this new SM9 on about a 76 yard shot. Or an 86 yard shot. Comes off the face good. Philip, say hi to the camera. Hey, I'm here. He's learning how to hit a 90 yard shot when you're trying to hit it 75. Graphics are super slow on quad today, or GC3. Maybe it's my computer. So that last one went 77 yards, 7,800 RPM. So that's pretty good. Not, nothing crazy. That should have a little bit more bite to it. 9,000 on a 70 yard shot. That was pretty close. Go in? Don't go in? A foreign. All right, so spin rate wise, I mean, you can see a lot of good centered hits there. No real problems on the impact on the pro. Got 8,400 RPM, so doing a little better on that front. Not saying it's any different than SM8. I'm gonna hit a few of the SMAs just to compare the two side by side. I, these aren't my everyday gamers, right? Feel great. Never a question with Vokey. Always feels good. Now we're just trying to decide if it's worth you upgrading from SM8s to SM9s. So on that subject of upgrading, whether it's worth it or not, something to consider is after about 40 rounds, you should be changing your grips. So keep that in the back of your head. Hit us up if you need some grip changes. But after 75 rounds, you're gonna lose 10 feet of stopping power because of the wear and tear on the grooves. After 100 rounds, you're losing 20 feet of stopping power. And that was a study done by Titleist themselves at their Performance Institute. So keep that in mind as you look at in your bag, if you're a 100 round a year golfer, you should probably get wedges every year anyways to help your short game. Keep that food for thought.
Oh, my, I might have made that. No. Oh. Short. That was the one that spun more last time with the SN9. Yep, same spin rate. So the difference between SM8 and SM9, hitting it pretty solid on the face. Now granted, this is a demo, been hit a, a good bit, but not a ton. Um, I'm not going to say it's a lot different than the SM9. Feels about the same, performs about the same, not a noticeable difference. Like I said, it'd probably just be a wear and tear thing if you were trying to replace it. Um, but the look and feel is awesome. I sell a bunch of Voki wedges, so I'm a big fan of Voki wedges. But just for giggles, let's put my uh, Tenement wedge against the Voki. So we've got Deddy Claws. If y'all watch the channel, you know about Deddy Claws. So this one has seen some wear and tear. But I'm going to hit the same shot I've been hitting with the Vokies. This is my personal stick. Let's just see what we get. <clears throat> 8,600 from the 70 yarder. <laughs> what do you guys say about that, Mr. Bob Bookie? That sat down quick. 8,700, another like 85 ish hundred on mine. So, all in all, side to side, Voki and my Deddy Claws still spinning about the same. So, if I was trying these out versus what I was doing for a full swing, not enough to compare. SM9, is it worth it? Absolutely. If you got some crappy wedges, come get you one. We'll sell it to you. Me or Phil will get you taken care of. If you already got an SM8, you haven't put 100 rounds on it yet. Maybe hold off for SM10. I don't know. That just seems to be the pattern. We went from SM what? Zero to SM9 now, Philip? <laughs> Thereabouts. So, all I gotta say is not much different than SM8. Still a great wedge. Still very playable. Still a great feel. Love the micro grooves between the, the, uh, the big grooves. And it's always a good looking club when you put it on the ground. So, hope you like this review of the SM9. Looking forward to doing more of this stuff as I keep getting new product. And if you have a question about a product, hit me up in the comments below and we can talk it out. See you.